Hello, I'm Bridget Marison from Tennis Head. And I'm Joe Carter. And welcome to day three of the Wimbledon Championships, where Andy Murray breezed through his second round match today against the Slovenian Blas Roller. Um, and there were a couple of surprises in the men's game. Um, Ernest Gulbis, the number 12 seed, went out to Sergei Stohovsky. Um, and David Ferrer, the number seven seed, was defeated by Andrei Kuznetsov. Um, perhaps not a surprise uh, disappointment for David Ferrer. Uh, he said he was disappointed after the match, but if you remember, he had a stomach problem um, after Roland Garros, so he hasn't really played much on the grass. But first time he hasn't got through um, to a quarter final of a Grand Slam um, for 10 Grand Slams. So, uh, yeah, quite a defeat for him. And there was an interesting defeat, wasn't there, in the women's game today? There was. Uh, Victoria Azarenko was beaten in three sets by Bojana Jovanovski of Serbia. Um, it was a t tough defeat for Azarenka, but you know she's been out since January more or less with a foot injury. She's only played a few matches, um, so you know perhaps not a huge surprise. Um, some good wins for Lina Petrikovitsova today. Uh, also Agnieszka Radvanska all going through in straight sets. Um, one performance that was particularly impressive for me was uh, Caroline Garcia from France, world number 46, through to the third round of a Grand Slam for the first time in her career. She beat Vavara Lepchenko in, in straight sets. Um, Garcia's um, had some really big matches this year. She's played Serena, she's played Sharapova, she's played Irani and beaten her twice this year. Um, also Radvanska, she got through to the quarterfinals in Madrid earlier this year and also uh, won her first WTA title in Bogota. Um, so definitely one to watch for the future. You might remember that Andy Murray actually singled her out at the 2011 French Open and said she was a future world number one and she's certainly living up to the billing. Um, I actually spoke to her this evening and uh, she, she admitted that it was a bit of pressure that she wasn't quite ready for. But um, she said, you know, she's doing it at her own time and looking very good for it. Yeah. And so uh, some good matches <coughs> and some good youngsters to look out for tomorrow as well, Bridget. Indeed there are. And I think actually in the, in the men's game, I'm going to be really interested to see Mios Reynic um, up against Jack Sock. Um, which could be a really interesting match. They've met, uh, they've played three times before. Rayanich is ahead 2-1 in their head-to-heads, but actually Jack Sock won their last meeting in Memphis. So I think that's an interesting match to watch. And of course, um, Lucas Russell up against, up against Rafa again, so that'll be interesting, um, a rerun of their second round match in 2012. Um, and also Leighton Hewitt taking on Josie Janowitz. So I think, yeah, there's some really, uh, really good matches to get our teeth into tomorrow. And who will you be watching for the women? Uh, one interesting match for me is uh, Camilla Giorgi of Italy up against Alison Risk from the United States. Both very good grass court players. Um, Risk, as a qualifier last year, reached the semi finals in Birmingham. Giorgi's had some big upsets this year. She beat Sharapova in Indian Wells, beat Azarenka last week at Eastbourne, um, and she seems to have the game for a for the big occasion, so definitely one to watch. Cool. And you can stay up to date uh, with all the action tomorrow on tennishead.net or why not sign up for our free newsletter.